I had an interesting, uh, in terms of experiences and opportunities, I had an interesting, well, it was more of an experience. It wasn't really, it wasn't an opportunity. I wasn't challenged in any way. In the uh, afternoon, evening yesterday, I took the dogs to the dog park. When I got there, there was no one there. And so the dogs and I just sat in the park, the small, small dog park. Um, we were, there were plenty of dogs in the big park making noises and running around. So I just sat in the small dog park with my two boys. After a while, uh, a, a woman who from a distance looked mm, in her 50s. From the, When she got close, I realized she was probably in her 70s. She looked good for her age. Fit and trim. Uh, just... No, I'll, I'll go so far as a nice figure. Just looked really good, right? And she just really held her age, really well. Um, and be yet when you, when she got closer, you realized that she's she's been alive a long time, <laughs> just as uh, all of us hope to be, I guess. Anyway, that's totally beside the point. Although it is to the point because I imagined, you know, you look at someone and you can fill in the the past, or an imagined past, right? And I imagined, I mean, she was wearing, uh, you know, pretty, sh you know, shorts. Uh, and she had nice legs, you know, tight shirt, nice build, you know, fit looking for her age. And I just pictured in all that. And I'm, I don't I hope I'm not trespassing on being, you know, s talking strangely, you know, but I, you know, you just can't help notice, right? So I pictured, I, I pictured her in the past. She's probably, well, she's probably been like that all her life. She's probably a physically active woman, um, uh, takes good care of herself, self knows how to dress. Um, she was wearing a wedding ring. Not that I, 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 I look out for those things, but I, once I saw, once she, because she was approaching to talk to me, as she approached, I, you, you, kind of pick out these things You're like wow she's in her this she's older than she looks i wonder she's with her dog you know she seems gregarious i, I wonder if i uh, wonder if she's married woman you know i mean I'm, I'm not interested in that kind of stuff i'm just trying to fill in the pictures like sherlock holmes so she had the ring on um but she what she told me when we started talking in very short order it's interesting how the old people in this community just um just come right out and tell you their stuff, you know, in very short order. Um, you know, I learned a little bit of her history. Um, the point that I stuck out to me, though, was that, and I, and I was, was that how she got her dog. And she described how her, her best friend, her name, by the way, is June. June's friend was, um, you know, as old people can do and anybody can do. The horror show awaits. Was uh, diagnosed with a fatal disease, and uh, went down fast. And uh, she had that this little dog, and uh, June took the dog to uh, find it a home. And then, of course, as these things happen, keeping the dog, which is now the love and focus of her life, and she wouldn't give up for anything. A very nice, touching story. Um, Yet I was touched by a, a sense of how the dog filled something in her life that was uh, clearly lacking. And she, she told me about the freedom that she had enjoyed before the dog. Uh, she said, with a, you know, I, how do you describe it? It was kind of a, an exclamatory, you know, description of the freedom that she had. You know, she was so free. So do anything she want, you know, how world was, world was, world was hers. And she said, and she described how she gave that up for this little love of the dog. Anyway, I'll probably see June again. Um, the timing is becoming such, I'm going to the dog park, uh, uh, changing my time just a little bit. And I, she usually goes twice a week. So anyway, I'm, I'm making friends, you know, I've, uh, got Harold and Helen and now June and uh, the neighbors next door, all quite old people, all with a, a story of their own. And there's a tinge of, of sadness and the horror show in, in 
all of these stories. I guess I'm lucky to live in a senior citizen community now, right? A retirement community. I can begin to uh, sample the uh, the uh, experience of that season of life, which is quite near on the horizon now for me and you, Eagle. <laughs>